Good evening Facebook, hello and welcome to my latest live session at the new time of 9pm. Um, hopefully a few more of you will join. Uh, I've got a little bit of feedback to suggest that a lot of you are still putting the kids to bed at half past seven. So um, the new revised time of 9.30 could stay if more of you join. Good evening to you Hannah, good evening to you Elise, thank you for joining. Tonight's episode is an economy statement update special. Um, the Chancellor today has announced some exciting news regarding stamp duty, so stamp duty is going to be the hot topic tonight. So stay tuned and we're going to discuss all of today's changes surrounding stamp duty. Um, if you've got any questions about the stamp duty changes, it would be a great chance for you to pop them in the comments and we'll have a chat about those. I'll try and answer them for you live. If I can't answer them, I will come back to you. Um, when I can. So just a couple of updates before we dive in and whilst we're waiting for the audience to build up. Um, firstly, thank you for all those that are tuning in. Um, I hope you've been finding the content useful and providing it every Wednesday now um, for about 10 weeks. Um, if you do find it useful, there's a very good chance that some of your friends or family would find it useful. So if you could kindly give this post a like and even better, if you could give it a share, to help spread the message and spread my content out there to uh, empower and, and provide more information uh, and valuable content to a wider audience. A um, couple of other things um, to discuss. Uh, what have I got here? So these live sessions are done on my personal page, um, but for more regular content and more regular updates, um, you can go to my business page, which is Thomas Honor Mortgage Services and that gets updated daily with, with different amounts of content. So feel free to like that page and you'll get that more regularly. This week was a, a big week. Not only have we had the great news about stamp duty, but um, on Sunday, the 12th of July, Thomas on a Mortgage Services is one year old. So um, in the first year, we've had to go through Brexit, um, a, a global pandemic, um, and uh, yeah, so I think I can well and truly say that, the, that this first year has been pretty tough, but um, the response I've had to the business um, and the people that have supported me locally, my family, my friends, you guys, um, good evening, Sim, um, you guys watching this every single week, um, I could never have uh, uh, believed this would happen in my wildest dreams. So thank you to everyone that's been supporting me so far. Um, definitely gonna be doing something to celebrate the one year anniversary. Um, and on Sunday, I've got some huge news. Um, I want to try and keep it a secret. I'm going to try not to um, blurt it out on here, so I might shut up a bit quick. Um, but I've got some massive news, um, something that is going to enhance the customer experience even more for the people of Brackley and beyond. So I'm really, really excited. But I am going to save the news um, to the anniversary on Sunday, um, and I'm going to be going live um, probably on the business page of Thomas on a Mortgage Services, so like that, um, and you'll be the first to know about the big announcement coming this Sunday. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. Let's get down to business. Let's talk about stamp duty. What's Sim saying? Sim, uh, you have shrunk. I haven't shrunk in height. I'm still six foot four, but I've lost um, getting onto free stone, Sim, uh, in less than 90 days. So thank you for noticing. Um, very flattered. Um, anyway, less about my weight loss, more about stamp duty. That's what you guys are here for. That's what you really want to know. So today, the Chancellor announced changes to stamp duty, um, and these changes are phenomenal. They're going to save people huge sums of money. So it is fantastic news. What I'm going to do after this, I'm going to put a link in the comments um, for all the formal blurb, but I'm going to try and break it down to you in layman's term, lay it to you nice and simple so you know exactly what's going on. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments, we'll discuss them and I'll answer them live on air for you. So firstly, some of you will be thinking, well, what the hell is stamp duty? What does it even mean? So stamp duty land tax is the full name, is tax that's levied on property purchases in the UK. So yes, you pay tax on everything. You pay it on fuel, you pay it on food, you pay it on, you name it, you pay it, and you pay it on property purchases as well. So if they're not already as expensive enough, you pay tax on them, okay? So it's one of the largest costs you're gonna have when you're buying a house. So from today, anybody that's buying their main residence, 
not just first time buyers, anybody that's buying their main residence. You could be a home mover, second time buyer. Um, if it's your main residence, your single main residence, then you will not pay any stamp duty up to £500,000. Brilliant, it's absolutely fantastic. So that is up until the 31st of March, 2021. Um, and it applies to all completions. So even if you are in, in the middle of a home purchase, I've got some, some of you guys tuning in now, in the middle of a home purchase, um, and uh, I've got people that had money set aside to cover their stamp duty costs. Today, they found out they've just saved thousands of pounds. I've had one of my clients um, it's just saved seven grand. So they're gonna be booking a holiday. Um, I don't think their they're other half even knows yet. So it's huge money, it's fantastic. So even if you, as long as you haven't completed yet, so formally completed the purchase, then you can still save on that stamp duty. If it's your single main residence, up to 500,000 pounds. So brilliant. Um, so just a couple of examples for you then. Um, before today, if you, were, um, if, you, ah, if you weren't a first time buyer, because there was some incentives just exclusively for first time buyers before today, but if you were a home buyer, not necessarily a first time buyer, buying your main residence up to £350,000, you would have paid stamp duty of seven and a half grand. Okay, seven and a half grand. Think what you could buy with that. Holidays, sofa, kitting out your house, car. As of today, you pay nothing. So seven and a half grand saving, brilliant. Um, when we take it up a notch, so my clients that are in and around southeast, closer to London, um, if they were buying at 575000 now that's above um, the, the 500 threshold, but it still applies for the first 500,000. Um, it's still a nil band. You only pay it on the 75,000 above. So before today, if you were buying at 575,000, you would have paid a whopping 18,750 pound in stamp duty tax. Eight, nearly 19 grand. It's huge amounts of money. As of today, if you are completing on a purchase of 575,000, you pay just three thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds a 15 grand saving i think what you could buy with fifteen thousand pounds again car couple of holidays kitting out the house these are huge savings so this is big big news this is amazing news for um, all home buyers across the uk as you can probably see i'm pretty excited about this it's a big deal in my world so that's a couple of examples for you um like i said a few of my clients today um have just literally they were all ready to set to complete on Friday, so two days time, had seven grand in the bank to pay their stamp duty, just been told they haven't got to pay it. It's like a little mini lottery wing for them, so I'm delighted for my customers. Also as well, um, one of my customers this evening is buying a new build. So what you quite often find with new build purchases is they often pay the stamp duty for you. That's one of the big incentives that you get when buying a new build. So one of my clients purchased a new build yesterday. Uh, when I say purchase, they reserved it. Um, and the builder put down as one of the incentives they would pay their stamp duty for them. Well, they're not paying it anymore. So what I've encouraged my client to go back and do, and the new build provider will hate me for doing this, um, what I've invited my client to do is go back to the new build provider and ask for a further discount because they're not paying their stamp duty as an incentive. And I've got news tonight from the client. Lo and behold, the builders reduced the purchase price because they're no longer paying that stamp duty. So um, yeah new builders hate me but my clients are pretty happy and that's that's all that matters to me so again if you're in the middle of a new build where you were getting the stamp duty as an incentive for free might be time now to go back and try and renegotiate no guarantee you'll get it but it's certainly worth asking the question um so what else have we got to say um additional properties then so um there were quite a lot of people that are buying second homes, landlords, investors that are buying, um, they've already got their main residence but want to buy another property. Um, and investors and landlords have had a bit of a hard time over the last few years, lots of changes to the way they get taxed um, and not being able to claim back the interest they pay. Um, so they've had a bit of a hard time of it, but landlords and investors will also be delighted with today's news because um, they don't not pay any stamp duty, but they, they can take advantage of the nil rate up to 500,000. Um, because previously, before today, they would pay the standard rate of stamp duty tax, but then also a surcharge of 3% on top of that. They no longer pay the first standard stamp duty on the 500,000. They will just pay 
the surcharge. So I've got a couple of examples here. So um, before today, if they were buying, if a landlord or someone was buying a second property, an investor, or for whatever purpose, holiday home, you were buying a property at £350,000 you would pay the normal stamp duty plus the surcharge, so you'd be paying £18,000 in stamp duty for a property purchase of £350,000. Um, after today, because you don't pay anything on the nil rate, um, the, the initial rate, you only pay in the surcharge on all of it, your new stamp duty cost is going to be ten and a half grand. So you're saving £7,500. So again, lots of investors and lots of landlords that are going to be happy about the news as well, which is good. Um, so, any questions from my viewers? Who have we got? There's quite a few of you tuning in tonight. So the nine o'clock slot is definitely working. Fantastic, well done, Sim. Thanks, Sim. Sim is a fellow mortgage broker. She is an awesome mortgage broker. She specializes in uh, mortgages for military. So if you um, want a mortgage and you're in the military, Sim is your girl. She is brilliant. Lots of people tuning in. Um, Good evening. I've just waved at Iris, um, which is um, Nana Curley. Good evening, Iris. That was accidental, but um, good. So um, if you've got any questions, now would be a good time. Otherwise, I'm just going to be rambling on. Uh, I don't think we've had any questions yet. Uh, oh, there we go. I'm back. I had a bit of a panic there. Um, I seem to have lost you all, so, so, so sorry about that. So, um, doesn't look like you've got any questions as of yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the full formal government blurb into the comments, so have a look at it. Make of it what you will. Please reach out to me if you've got any questions or queries, um, but I think the bottom line is it's great news. I'm just gonna quickly summarize the stamp duty changes for those of you that have just joined and um, I've waffled on a little bit in between so let's try and get it nice clear and concise so everyone understands exactly what the changes are today. So um, stamp duty land tax, what is it? Essentially it's tax payable on property purchases. You pay tax on everything else, you pay it on property purchases. As of today, the 8th of July 2020, there have been some changes which means that anyone that's buying their main residence for their single use as their main residence will not pay any stamp duty up to £500,000. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. And that is going to be in place until the end of March 2021. So we've not got ages, but there's plenty of time. Hopefully that's gonna stimulate the market and those of you that were thinking of buying might now go ahead and do it because you're gonna potentially save yourself thousands of pounds. So all of completions from today are affected. So even if you're in the middle of the home buying process, providing you've not completed, you can take advantage of the new stamp duty changes, which is brilliant. Just a couple of examples, if you were buying a house at £350,000 before today, uh, excluding first time buyers, you'd have paid seven and a half grand in stamp duty tax. After today, zero, so seven and a half grand savings. It's brilliant, fantastic news. Uh, another example, if you were buying at 575000 before today, you'd have paid a stamp duty of £18,750, nearly 19 grand in stamp duty tax. After today, just 3750 So you're just paying on the 75 grand above the 500000 which is at the nil rate. That's a huge saving, 15 grand. Imagine what you could buy with that. So that's fantastic. Um, for those of you that want to buy additional properties, so if you're landlords or investors or want a holiday home or a second home, you too can still take advantage of the scheme. It's not quite the same. Um, you don't pay any tax um, on the standard rates, but you will still pay the surcharge tax. So essentially what we're looking at there is you will pay, uh, say any properties that you purchase up to 500,000, you will pay just the 3% surcharge, but you won't pay the standard rate. So you're still gonna save a good amount of money. As an example on that, um, before today, if you were buying a second or additional property at 350,000, your stamp duty would have been a cool 18 grand. After today, it goes down to 10 and a half grand. Still a lot of money, but you're saving yourself seven and a half thousand. So again, lots of happy investors, landlords, people that are buying second homes this evening as well. And that's it in a nutshell. If you've got any further questions regarding the stamp duty changes, then feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'll be going live again next Wednesday on this page. Um, if you could kindly like, share this post, 
I would really appreciate it, but you'd be supporting me as a small local business. Um, it's our one year anniversary on Sunday. I've got some big, big news coming. I can't wait to share it with you all. It's gonna really enhance the customer experience um, for those of you in Brackley and beyond. Um, but once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you for supporting me. I love you all and I will see you soon.